everyone. It is such a blessing to be back in the house of the Lord and to come to worship and to praise his holy name. God has been so good to us and we're just thankful. I hope everyone had a uh, blessed uh, holiday uh, weekend this past weekend and uh, enjoyed uh, Thanksgiving. And uh, I, I'm just sure that we did enjoy it because uh, we are a people that do not wait until uh, Thanksgiving Day that's on the calendar to be thankful. We're thankful every day that God uh, wake us out of our sleep and we're able to get out of our bed. And even if we're not able to get out of the bed, we're thankful to be alive. God just good to us. And he brings us. He brought us from a mighty, mighty long ways. As a matter of fact, he's brought us all the way. All the way. Amen. We're so grateful. We're thankful to those who are on the Facebook joining in with us today. And as always, we uh, appreciate your uh, support. We su appreciate the support of those who are here. And uh, we know that uh, we're still going through uh, this uh, pandemic. Uh, time, uh, but I'm looking forward to the time that uh, we will uh, muscle up the strength and, uh, you know, come on back. I'm not critical of anybody who's uh, still a little leery or whatever, uh, but I do want to encourage us. Uh, don't allow ourselves to be more trusting going out in the world than we are coming to the house of God. Amen. God, God, if God will protect you out in the world and at the stores and everywhere else, he'll protect you in church. And uh, we just have to believe God and trust in him for he is good and he is greatly uh, to be praised. We want to just uh, remember there are a number of people that's on our prayer list and uh, we want to keep those persons uh, in mind. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting to the point now as I get a little older in age, if I don't write things down and I don't put them on my uh, phone or whatever, uh, I forget. And uh, so sometime uh, if I fail to call a name, please don't charge that to my heart because I really uh, want to uh, remember all of the people uh, that we are to uh, pray for. And, uh, you know, there have been times in, uh, in my life I'd get down on my knees and pray at night, and uh, I'd get, be so tired, and sometimes i start a prayer over two or three times, and then I started over about the fourth time, and about the fifth time I said, well, Lord, you understand, and you know, good night. <laughs> it's the best I could do, I mean, <laughs> but he knew my heart. He knew my heart, so we just uh, bless God for everything. Uh, that he has done. Let me just lead us in a word of prayer, and I'm going to ask uh, uh, Reverend Hampton if he'd come and uh, uh, bring us a scripture, and we'll, we'll just move from there. Amen. But we do want to uh, remember those who are uh, going through certain illnesses. Uh, I feel sure that uh, I know Sister Lowe, uh, she usually tunes in. Uh, on Sundays, and we certainly want to uh, keep her uh, lifted before the Lord. We want to keep uh, Sister Peggy with for keep her uh, lifted before the Lord. We want to continue to keep uh, Sister Minister Nikki Anderson and her mom, and uh, also uh, uh, Sister McDaniel, uh, Sister Cassius, and uh, uh, Tawana's mom keep uh, her before the Lord. I think she was out of the hospital and then went back uh, in the hospital. Amen. And uh, all of us, I think we have uh, people that we're concerned about. I appreciate uh, my family. I appreciate, uh, you know, my wife. Uh, we try to uh, take care of her mom and all. And we know those things can uh, be taxing at times. But you know, when we think about what our parents did for us when we were coming up, 
we certainly owe it uh, to them to do our part in trying to care for them. Uh, there are some people who I will not call names but have lost loved ones. Fear I may forget, but we want to just keep them uh, lifted before uh, the Lord. It seems like uh, most of my Saturdays in the past six months have been uh, at funerals. And, uh, you know, there's a sadness in going uh, to funerals and all, but we can always be thankful to God. He has uh, given us another chance, another opportunity, another opportunity to say thank you, another opportunity to say you and praise his holy name for the great things that he has done for us and those things that are he is doing. Want to just remember all of the uh, mothers of our church, uh, Mother Ashley and, and uh, Mother Jackson and just all of them who uh, we, we need to be praying for. Let's just bow in a word of prayer if you would. Our Father and God, we are so grateful that you've given us another opportunity to come to this place of worship, to come to worship and praise your holy name. Indeed, you told us in all things, give thanks unto the Lord, for you are good and you are greatly to be praised. All of those names, God, that have been mentioned, all of those who are going through sickness, different type of illnesses, we may not know what's really going on and we may not know the extent of it but God we know that you know you know all things you are God and you are healer you are the deliverer it is by your stripes that we are healed and God we plead the blood of Jesus right now over every person's name that has been called God we plead the blood of Jesus Oh, those names that we have forgotten. God, we plead the blood of Jesus over all hospitals and convalescing homes, other places. God, we plead the blood of Jesus all throughout nursing homes and other places, God, that we may not even know of. God, we plead the blood of Jesus. We pray, God, for as we drive up and down the streets and we see so many people standing on the corners, some, oh God, are homeless and some are out there. And God, we sometimes question uh, when we see the uh, places where it said help wanted. And we try to figure out, God, is this legit or is this one who has come to a point that they just decided I'd rather sit on the street and just ask for handouts. God, we're not here to try to judge because we don't know what's going on in anyone's heart. We don't know their status. We don't know, God, what's really happening in their life. But God, we know that you know and you told us to pray without ceasing. And we ask you, God, please, sir, look and have mercy. Give strength, God. Give anointing God, anointing power like never before. God, you are able to do it right now. God, we praise your name. We bless you right now. God, in the name of Jesus, would you breathe afresh? Breathe upon us, God. Breathe the anointing, God. Breathe upon us here at the St. Mark Baptist Church. Every church door that stands open in your name, we pray God for your preach word that it will go throughout the, the world, God, that your word will be proclaimed, God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Have your way, God. Please, sir, touch right now, Lord, we pray. Heal and deliver, God. We pray in the name of Jesus. Those who are going through problems in their minds, God, that having some mental issues, God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Would you please, sir, look and have mercy. We pray for the schools, God. We pray for our children. We pray for 
all of those, God, even those who are on the street, God, those who are committing crime and doing things, they ought not to be done. God, would you please, sir, uh, look and have mercy, God. Guide us, God, from one good degree of grace to the other. I pray in the name of Jesus. Bless our children, God. Bless our children and keep them walking in the way, God, that you would have them to go. And God, those who are straying away and have strayed away, God, you are able to bring them back. Bring them to the fold, God. Bring them that they might understand and know that only what we do for you will last. You are good, God. God, we praise you right now. We praise you in this house. Would you please, sir, look and have mercy. And God, we'll confess today there are times we do not know how to pray as we ought, but we thank you, God. You know our hearts. You know our minds, God. You know every need, God. You know what we're standing in the need of. Would you please, sir, look and have mercy. Oh, God, bless the day. Bless every person in this house, God. And those who are still fearful, God, we realize the word is right. You have not given us the spirit of fear of God but of a sound mind, and God, you've given us power, God, and we thank you for it right now. Have your way, God. Have your way. You said they that wait upon you, you renew their strength and mount up on wings as eagles, run and not be tired and walk and not faint. God, we are waiting on you and on our blessings, God. We are waiting on renewal, God. We are waiting on Revival, God, have your way, please, sir. You can do it, God. You've done it before. You are the same today, yesterday, and forever. We said we praise you right now. We bless you, God. Move with a mighty way, we pray, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bless thee, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray, and we thank you for it right now. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Like I said, good morning to everyone. Glory to God. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. One more time. Amen. We just thank God for this opportunity just to be here on today. Amen. Days that God has oh, blessed yeah. us with. We're just thankful that God has allowed our moments just to roll on just a little while longer. Like Grandma used to say, amen, just a little yes, while yeah. longer. Amen. I want to read a familiar passage of oh, Scripture boy. this morning uh, coming from the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 13. We're going to start reading that verse 1 uh, down through Select this scriptures here, passage, starting at verse 1, around 7 or 8, I think, around 8. Amen. Let brotherly love continue. <clears throat> Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained strangers unaware. Remember them, them that are in bonds, as bound with them and them which suffer adversities, as being yourselves also in the body. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. Let your conversation be with thy covenants, and be, and be content with such things as ye have. For he has said, I will never leave you, nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I would not fear what man shall do unto me. Remember them which have ruled over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, who faith follows considering the end of their conversation. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, yes, sir. today, yes. and forever. Amen. I read you eight verses of that 13th chapter of Hebrews. May the Lord bless the readers and the hearers and the doers of his holy and his most righteous word.
Amen, amen. I think amen. we're supposed to have one, someone from our choir is going to sing today. Amen. And uh, I ask that we'll come, or whoever's going to do that. And we're certainly grateful for all of you who are here. Amen. amen. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, amen. God is a good God. Yes, he is. Amen. I want to remind you on next week is our uh, church anniversary. One of my homeboys is going to come and minister to us. So uh, be praying uh, for the church anniversary and uh, his strength in the Lord.
my, my. Oh, glory, glory. All right, all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's no harm to thank you. Anybody in here got a reason to be grateful? Bless his name. Bless his name. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Continue. That uh, we remember, uh, Sister Peggy sent us a note this morning and uh, want us to be praying for her, and we certainly want to do that. And she's going to be praying for us. Amen. Amen. Sister Nicole uh, Dobbins asking for prayer. I want to be uh, praying for her. Amen. Just pray and believe God Almighty. Amen. To those of you who have your Bibles, if you uh, look with me in the first chapter of St. Luke, first chapter of St. Luke, I want you to pray for me and pray with you. I'm always grateful for all of you, our uh, deacons, uh, trustees, uh, choir members, and uh, it doesn't matter what, what part you play, uh, we could not be who we are uh, if it were not for people like you uh, who helps and make this a uh, better place and a better ministry. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so very much for your kind. It's always good uh, to see our ministers, Mr. Beal. Uh, Mr. Hampton and certainly to uh, Minister Anderson and it's just so good to see everyone. Amen. Good to see Brother Paul again this morning. Amen. 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 God bless. God bless. Amen. Amen. God is uh, good. I will not uh, read it all but uh, we'll be starting at the uh, uh, 38th verse, I believe it is, uh, 38th verse of St. Luke chapter 1, I want you to pray for us and pray with us. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, go through uh, verse 50, you know, I'm a little slow, so, but uh, I'm going to take a stab at it. I, I, I will not uh, read all of it, but I do want to uh, look starting at verse 38. Then Mary said, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste to the city of Judah and entered the house of Zechariah 
and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greetings of Mary that the babe leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as I heard voice of your greetings sounding in my ear, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be fulfillment of those things which are told her from the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. I want to, uh, I want to talk with us uh, this morning. I want you to be praying for me and praying with me. I want to use this subject. Don't abort, abort your gift. Don't abort your gift. When we, when we look at that particular subject, we find ourselves asking, what type of gift are you talking about? I could have used the word, don't abort your blessing. I chose to use the word gift. Now, generally, a gift is something that's given to you or given to me. And there is nothing said that when we receive a gift that we really it's a it's a gift. It's not something that we necessarily earn or work for or was good enough, it was something that was given. And so I, I want us to take a moment and just, just think about your gift. What, what is your gift? What is my gift? That, that's something we ought to look at very, very closely today. What is it that God has given me that I need to protect, take care of, and appreciate? And adore. Don't, don't take it for granted. Don't waste it. Don't misuse it. Don't abuse it. What is your gift? Obviously, in the text, we are talking about a baby, or better rendering, two babies. 
there was a baby that was given to an older cousin or cousins, Elizabeth and Zachariah by marriage. receives word from the angel Gabriel that God was going to bless them with a son in their old age. And then there is a younger woman who scholars believe was still in her teens who had not known a man. And he says, the blessings of the Lord, the favor of the Lord, the gift of God is upon you. And while the angel Gabriel is speaking to her, she is somewhat amazed and questions, not because she does not believe, but her lack of understanding, how can it happen? More especially, although I am engaged, but what you are telling me is in the present tense as if this thing is happening before the marriage has come to a completion. How can it be? I've not had any relationship. The angel says to her, it is the power of God, the Holy One, of which when we look at him, we have to ask the question, is there anything too hard for God? If you need more evidence, check out your cousin who is older and well stricken and not only is she going to become pregnant she's pregnant right now and so Mary decides and tells Gabriel Whatever the Lord says, I'm good with it. It's okay. Let, let it be. Let, let it happen. I do not understand how, but I just want to thank him. Because he picked me out and chose me where there were thousands upon thousands of women he could have picked from. But he chose me. Yeah. And so, so I suggest to you, don't, don't, don't abort your gift. You do know, we, we are talking about John the Baptist. We are talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. But there are other gifts. It could be a prophecy. And when we think about it, 
as the angel came and spoke to Mary and Zechariah, that was a prophecy that came from God. Now, we, we, we good Baptists now. You know, sometimes we, we, we don't like to go too far on stuff. But I do need to tell you, prophecy is just today as it was then. And so it may be that God has sent, sent some anointed person or angel or whoever to prophesy over your life. And I come to tell you, don't count it out. Because a real prophet is known by his words. If it doesn't happen, he's not a real prophet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It could be a dream. There's, there's a difference in a prophecy and a dream maybe, just maybe this has been your dream for years maybe you maybe you grew up and said I'm going to be a doctor Maybe, maybe someone spoke into your life and said, you will be the president of the United States. It will happen in your time. But sometime we aborted, Brother Moxley, because we were one semester too short. We quit. We dropped out. I'm tired. How many of us know everybody that God used at a great high level, they were always busy. You hardly ever go through the Bible and find God really using lazy people. We, if you'll follow the scripture, you'll find that the people that he called and he used, they were busy. You could have dreamed long years ago, maybe. Baby, that ain't, you, you just had something to eat and it just, it, it caused you, it, that ain't, that ain't going to happen. Don't abort your dream just because others are saying it ain't going to happen. Hallelujah. And then, it may be. Wait a minute, Pastor. I thought this was about Mary and Elizabeth, Zachariah. Now, hold on now. You, but it just may be your marriage. I'm, I'm, I'm sick. And I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. I can... I can do bad. And I know that's a that's a fancy and, and it's a reality of saying. I can do bad all by myself. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'll I'll do it this way because we said 
that you you know you would usually put it on the man. You say he just crazy. Yeah. So sometimes he is, and sometimes she is too. But maybe one more counseling session. Just what one more sitting down. Let's talk it out. Let one more time. What God has joined together, let no man, not even your husband, not even your wife, put asunder. Yeah. Oh God, help us yeah. today. It could be one more time of casting your nets out in the water. Now, you know, I don't know what, Sister Glodine, she, she thinks she know how to fish, you know. I could probably teach her something about some fishing. But you know, every once in a while you go fishing, and you're tired, you're, you're hot. I've been out here all day long. Ain't nothing biting. But every once in a while, one more throw. People been out there, people been out there trying to catch that big one all day long. They 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 been out in in in, in some of those uh uh they 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 out there fishing for the prize and all, and 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 and, and how many of us know? My friend, Reverend White, Dwight McKissick, he tells a story about the people who was uh, on the gold rush. They were looking for gold, and someone had come and they they were digging. They, they dug and they dug and dug. And all of a sudden, folks said, it's time to leave. They tired and sweaty. Hadn't struck nothing. And all of a sudden, half a man come up behind him and began to dig in the same hole. Dug two feet. And struck gold. McKissick said, if you're digging, keep on digging. Keep digging in the same hole. And keep digging till you reach your goal. Don't give up. Don't, don't throw in the towel. Don't, don't abort it. Don't. You know, my brother back here, he, he's in the gym and all, and, uh, you know, we, you, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a has-been, kind of, I'm a has-been. I used, I used to lift some pretty heavy weights, you know, but, but the thing about that lifting weight, yeah. if you stop lifting, you lose it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean... I mean, some places hurt now that didn't hurt back then. But I think if I had kept doing it, what, one more lift. You you out here competing, and you you at the you 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 doing deadlift. You at the you at the five hundred point, and you get to four fifty. You said that's all I can do. Somebody said, one more time. One more time. One more time. And somebody over here hollering in your ear. Come on. Come on, man. Lift. You can do it. You can do it. And all of a sudden you, you got it up. All I'm trying to say is don't be too quick to give up. Throw in the towel. Elizabeth and 
an old woman, well stricken in age. She and Zechariah had prayed, and they prayed, and they prayed some more. And finally, one day when Zechariah goes into the temple to do the business of the Lord, all of a sudden, an angel meets up with him and says to him, Zachariah, your prayers have been heard. Not only has your prayer been heard, your prayer has been answered. And you can almost imagine Zachariah saying, say what? Because he knew what he had been praying. And his wife knew what they had been praying. And in their old age, and I'm telling you, these songs we sing, there's a lot of meaning to these songs because don't, 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 don't just throw them away. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Somebody say, he, he's an old time God. And somebody say, yes, he is. Yes, he is. old and stricken but God but God unlike Mary look look what the angel says to Zachariah your wife is going to bear you This ain't the Holy Ghost going to overshadow here, you know. Now, it's, it's going to take some Holy Ghost to move, you know. But uh, you, he went home to his wife and impregnated his wife. Man, you know, God is kind of a, God got a sense of humor, you know. You know, he, he really does. He has good sense. I, I mean, you, something, you know, you just sit down, you think about, and you just kind of bust out and start laughing. Folks, something's wrong with them, you know. You just kind of bust out and start laughing, you know. And see, the, the, because Zachariah had a problem uh, believing what was said to him, now it's happened. And, and he goes home. And uh, you, can you imagine his wife, his wife, Brother Mark, she's just talking, just talking and talking and talking. Everything she been wanting to say, she just said it. She just said it. She just said it. She just, she just talking, talking. And he was saying, Lord, have mercy. But you know what? He, he said nothing. He, 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 might, he might do some sign language, shut it up, whatever. But he couldn't stop her from talking. But he couldn't talk. You, you know we got more women in here because women don't see the, they, they don't see the, you know, humor in that. But because they think I'm trying to say they like to talk and they do. And I love to hear my wife talk. I love to hear her talk now. I'm telling you. Amen. I love to hear my wife talk. That girl, yeah, sure. You know. So. So. Uh. Elizabeth goes off and she goes into seclusion. She hides herself for some months. Why do you think she went home? Why, why do you think she hid herself? I'll have to talk to some of these women sometime. I'm going to talk to my wife. And I'm going to ask her because, you, you know, because sometimes you have, you have to have some help figuring out some of this stuff. But I like to think she needed some time right. with God because yeah. the angel not only told Zachariah, yeah. your wife is going to have a child, but your son is going to be great. 
and he's going to make a difference. And you would think Elizabeth is thinking within herself, I'm too old to be having a baby. I'm too old to be teaching. I'm too old to do this and do that. And I think she wanted some time to spend with the Lord so the Lord could tell her how to minister to her own son and minister to her own spirit. Talk to me, Lord. Been praying a long time, and now something happened. I don't understand it. I ain't mad about it. I'm happy. But how do I deal with all of this at my age? And the angel moves from there, and he goes on to Mary and tells Mary about what God is doing in her. And Mary saying, how this going to be? And then he says, look, your, your, your cousin, uh, Elizabeth, She's already pregnant. And, and you can almost see Mary, Mary said, I got to see this for myself. I'm, I'm almost through. Yeah, I'm almost through. Listen, listen, listen. I, I've got to see this thing for myself. And she goes to Elizabeth's house. And I can see her. I, I, I'm sure she knocked on the door. I don't know if Elizabeth was able to look out the window. I don't even know if they had windows. They may, you know, they had them open. I don't know. But it may, I don't know what it was. But I guess Elizabeth said, come in. And when she come in, get this. Mary said, cousin Elizabeth. I like to think she was far enough along in her pregnancy that the baby was kind of moving around some. But when she heard the voice of Mary, help the Bible says the babe leaped. My God from glory. Talking about God. Don't, don't abort. Your gift. Yeah. I, I, I know there are a lot of people who are going through abortions today. And, 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 and let me tell you something. Our world is so messed up. We are so messed up in the head. We are just messed up all over. We are allowing babies by the thousands to be sucked out of the mother's womb. And we are allowing people to be killed by the thousands with different viruses and all of this. But I come to tell you, we're doing things for money. We're doing this to fatten our pockets. But I come to tell you, God is able. God is able. Look what the Bible says. When, am I, am I preaching? Am I saying, am I saying, listen. Ma Mary gets to Elizabeth's house and the baby leaped in a womb. And not only does the baby leap in the womb, and this is why you don't need to be trying to board your gift, because once the baby leaped in her womb, the Bible says she was filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh God, oh God, how I wish we could be open to God and God will fill us with the Holy Ghost, fill us with the Holy Spirit. Just because we did it his way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mary. Oh, Mary. Mary, you. Girl. You done come to the house. Just as soon. I, evidently. Elizabeth was in one room and Mary was in another room and apparently Mary said something about Cousin Elizabeth and when she heard her voice 
just her voice. There are some people, I believe, in this place right now. God want to use you in such a way that when people just hear your voice, you ain't got to lay hands on them. You ain't got to breathe on them. You ain't got to do none of that. Just hear your voice because the anointing of God is upon your life. Lord, help me today. Woo! Boy, I, 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 I hope I internet working. A, a man called me uh, and told me, he said, he's up in Spokane, Washington, said, our, our internet was messing up last week, said he couldn't hardly hear nothing. I was saying, I hope I'm getting loud enough. Maybe it'll just go on through the airway. Hallelujah. But, but uh, when you and she said, what, who, what am I? Who, who am I? That such a one comes to me who's carrying the Lord. In a, now, what I want to know is, what I want to know. Y'all study that. Maybe y'all can help me figure this out before uh, next week. I, I'm trying to figure out this. How did Elizabeth know? I know God talked to Elizabeth about John. But how she know about Mary? Oh, glory, glory, glory. 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 God is so good. God, 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 God is, 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 he's powerful. I'm telling you. Now, you, you know, I've, I've said this before. I've, I've never called names. I just, it, it's a family member. My wife knows about it. And uh, I told this family member, I said, the Lord told me to tell you, cut this loose. Now, did I hear God in an audible voice? No, I did not. But I knew, Brother Moxie, it was God. And you know what? According to him, even though he didn't stop, he knew it came from God. In fact, he told me, he said, you know, you don't know how many times I thought about what you told me. And I was going I was going to make one more run, and I was going to stop. Here's the problem. When God gives you something, he's not giving you something to make your decision when you want to do it and when you want to stop it and when you want to start. God says, now. Now, I don't know. I don't, I, I've got to look at, I'm going to look in a little while and see what the word now means. But until then, I'm going to just hold to this. Now means now. You said somebody said, right now. Right now. God says, turn it loose. God says, stop it. God says, accept it. God says, receive it. Whatever God says, he means do it now. Whatever you do, don't take your blessings. Don't take your anointing. Don't take your gift. Don't take it for granted. God knows all about us. And he knows just how much we can bear. 
Ain't he good? Yes, Brother Paul, you believe he good? Yes, he good, I tell you. He's a mighty God. He's the prince of peace. I'm just telling you, don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. I know it looks dim. I know it looks tough. I know it looks bad. I know that the devil is telling you, you need to get out. You need to have your fun. You need to stay out of church. You don't need to do this and you don't need to do that. But somewhere down the line, you got to tell the devil you a liar and there is no truth in you. The God I serve. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Songwriter said, I need thee. I need him every hour. I need him. Is there anybody in this place need him? Hallelujah. Well, I'm gone. I'm done. I'm done. Hallelujah. God, Elizabeth says, who, who am I that, that the woman who carries in her body the master? Hallelujah. And all Mary could do is just start singing a song. You don't know how blessed you are to be able to sing a praise to the Lord. And the Bible said, he inhabits the praise. My voice may not be good as your voice, but I tell you what, what little bit I can do, God accepts my praise. Accept my praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you do, saints, don't abort your baby. Don't abort your job. Don't abort casting out. Don't abort your gift. Wait. And again, I say, Wait upon the Lord. He'll renew your strength. You'll mount up on wings as eagles. Run, not be walking, not faint. Don't abort it, saints. Somebody here today, you, God wants you to be a blessing to somebody. And you don't have to go across the sea to be a blessing. Maybe God wants you to speak life to someone in your own house, into your own home, in your own family. Maybe God wants you to just go spend a little time and hang out, maybe with a brother, maybe with a sister, maybe with a cousin. Aunt, uncle, know that God is there. Hallelujah. Don't let your tears go wasted. Don't waste them. Because God, he's bottling, bottling up our tears. And in the days of sorrow, he will comfort us. I don't know how much of this makes sense, but I've given what I believe the Lord has given to me. And I'm telling you, saints, trust in God. Trust him. Know that he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. Hallelujah.
There may be someone listening to us over the Facebook. There may be someone in this place. I want you to trust God. Trust God today. God wants to forgive. He wants to cleanse. He wants to wash us. Pastor, I know I'm not saved. I know I'm not where I need to be. What do I need to do? The Bible says if we confess our faults before him, he is faithful and he is just to forgive us of all of our unrighteousness. With the heart, man believe it unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Whosoever believeth in him should not be ashamed. There is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. He's the same Lord of all. And he's rich unto all that call upon his name. I want us to just believe God. I'm going to ask Reverend Bill if he'd come and just do a closing prayer for us. I'm going to give him some people that uh, we want to be praying for. As I call these names, I want you to take note of the names as well. He may forget some of them, you may forget whatever, but all of us together we ought to be able to get everyone covered. Hallelujah. We want to just remember Sister Peggy. She was taken. You can come on up there. She was uh, taken yesterday to the emergency room, I think it was, and, but uh, was having some pains. But thank God she was able to go back home. Let's keep her lifted up. Sister John Lowe, when I call her, Talks up with a good lifted voice. And sometimes you just gotta talk your way through it. Let's keep her lifted. I wanna lift up Minister Nikki. I want us to really lift up Minister Nikki as well as all of these other people who are called. Minister Nikki is, uh, she's a good, strong person. But some of us have a lot on our plates. And we just need a little extra. I want you to Pray for her, pray for her mom, Sister Jackson, Sister Carrie Ashley. I want you to just pray. I'm not asking Rim Deal to pray for an hour. There, there's every enough of all of us out here. We can be just praying as he's praying. Sister Nicole, let's lift her up. Thank God for Brother Herbert Jones. I, you all don't know how much I really appreciate a man that's such a lover of God. He's here. He's here all the time. Continue to lift up Sister Dates. We continue to lift up Sister Sharon. 
Parker, Sharon Dobbins, Mary Jane, and Ashley. There are so many I'm going through right now. And we need God's Spirit to be one. So we say to you on Facebook, if there are persons we need to be praying for, you can let us know and we will uh, be praying. But you pray for us as we pray for you. And don't just depend on us to pray for you. You pray for me, I pray for you. Let us just watch God change things. to be overcome he will do our benediction again as we always say those who want to be a blessing financially you can look on the Facebook you can contribute uh, through the uh, Giblify and those of you who bring by your offering we certainly encourage you to do that uh, let us remember uh, as Reverend Bill will come pray we want to pray for Reverend uh, Allen uh, he's one of my homeboys. Uh, he's down at uh, Smithton. And uh, let's pray for Reverend Allen. He seems to be doing uh, good. Uh, he lost a wife back, I think, last year, a little bit earlier. And uh, he's been battling uh, himself. So let's pray for him. Uh, I just want him to come and be a blessing to us. So be praying for him. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Our Father, our Father, Put on in heaven. We come once more and again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, we'll Jesus. We bow down head with humble heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We come not because we know how to pray so well. Neither because we have been so righteous. But we come being obedient, obedient God. to your holy and righteous word. You said man shall always pray and not faint. God, we come relying that your God not falls. You are God at hand. Your word said, if we will grow closer to you, you will grow closer oh, yeah. to us. Oh, yeah. God, we come now because we need you. We stand on your word. We stand on your promise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You said you would never leave us, nor forsake us. None forsaken us. Your words are asked, it shall no. be given. Seek, but you'll find. Knock, shall be open. God, we don't have to tell you why we come. Yeah, yeah. Because you're the all wise and all known God. You already know. We just come just to ask you to please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Have mercy on us where mercy can be found. God, we need you. We can't get along without you. We rely on your God all by yourself. You said high and you look low. You are in the control. And we are leaning and depending upon you. If you would turn, draw yourself away from us, where shall 
we go. God, we pray for those whose name has been called. God, I don't know all name by name. Oh Lord, oh Lord. But I know you know the name by name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm just asking you to look down on me. Show yourself strong. Please, sir. Please, sir. I plead the blood over their body. We rely their power in your blood. Their healer in your blood. They are delivering in your blood. And we ask you to move right now. If there are ever time that we need you, it's shown up uh, right now. And I'm asking you to God, please, sir, uh, have mercy right now. Have mercy, Lord. We ask you in your name. Because in your name, uh, there are power in your name. In your name, Lord. They are deliver in your uh, your name yes sir. yes sir. the healer in your name oh lord we stand on your word and we stand on your promise your word said whatsoever we ask in your name you will do it please sir have mercy right now god i pray for every church that open in your name I pray for Saint Mark by the church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look out on the angel of the church. Mercy, Thank you, God, for your word. God, let us not be here only, but let us be doing uh, your word. Now, Lord, now, Lord, we can't pray no more. Yes, yes. We yes. ask you to find a rest of prayer somewhere in our kingdom that we may praise your name forevermore. This we ask in your name we pray. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Did not our heart burn within while the man of God spoken by the way. Amen. Thank God we can for a little while since been here but all we have to be here to hear the moderator for the word for the day. Father, we come now. We ask you to dismiss us, uh, but never from your presence. Yes, As we go out, step away, we ask you to keep us in your love and your care yes. until we all have a happy privilege to meet again. Let all say, Amen.